In this video, we're going to talk about the division algorithm. Let A and B represent integers such that B is not equal to zero. And suppose there exists an integer Q such that B times Q is equal to A. Then we can say that B divides A. This statement is equivalent to saying B is a divisor of A, or we could say B is a factor of A. It's also equivalent to saying B divides evenly into A. Now, for any two integers, A and B, where B is not equal to zero, There exist unique integers Q and R such that A equals Q times B plus R and R is a value greater than or equal to zero, or less than the absolute value of B. This is called the division algorithm. Where A is our dividend, B is our divisor, Q is our quotient, and R is the remainder. Let's take a look at the relationship between the elements in the division algorithm by looking at a couple of short examples. Suppose A is equal to 157 and B is equal to 17. And you need to find the quotient and the remainder. Rewriting our formula for the division algorithm from the last screen, A equals Q times B plus R, where R is greater than or equal to zero and less than the absolute value of B. In order to find the quotient and remainder, we need one additional piece of information, and that is the quotient is equal to the floor of the ratio A over B. Taking my division algorithm formula and solving in terms of R, we have R equals A minus Q times B. Now I'll rewrite the order of my factors Q times B to read B times Q And I'll substitute Q with the equivalent statement, the floor of the ratio A over B. So we have R equals 157 
which is a, minus 17, our value for b, times the floor of 157 over 17, r equals 157 minus 17 times the floor of 9.24 that's our decimal approximation for the ratio above and we know that the floor of 9.24 is 9 so we have r equals 157 minus 17 times 9 this gives us r equals 157 minus 153, which is equal to 4. So our remainder is 4. We can check by seeing that 157 is equivalent to 9 times 17 plus 4. 157 equals 157, so it checks out. Now let's take an example where our dividend, A, is a negative number. Suppose A equals negative 13 and b equals 4. And you're asked to find the quotient and remainder. Writing the division algorithm formula to solve for r again gives us r equals a minus b times the floor of the ratio A over B. So R is equal to negative 13 minus 4 times the floor of negative 13 over 4. R equals negative 13 minus 4 times the floor of approximately negative 3 0.25. The floor of negative 3.25 is negative 4. So now we have r equals negative 13 minus 4 times negative 4. Negative 13 plus 16 is what that gives us, and therefore r is equal to 3. We can check by substituting our values back in, so we have 3 equals negative 13 minus 4 times negative 4. So we know that 3 equals 3, and it checks out. So this concludes our summary of the division algorithm and its key components. I hope you found the video helpful, and we'll see you next time.